again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January, 2019. Article was written on the 29th of January. It was written by Christine Breyer, St. Louis Post Dispatch. Title: St. Louis officer accused of killing colleague in Russian roulette-like shooting is booked into jail. Hmm. St. Louis police officer who allegedly killed a colleague last week as they took turns firing a revolver containing a single bullet was booked into jail Monday. A booking photo of Officer Nathaniel Hendern was released by the department Monday afternoon. He was charged Friday with involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action in the fatal shooting of fellow officer Caitlin Alex. His bail was set at 5000 cash only. You want to take a look at his booking photograph and notice his left eye, huh? Black. Henderson was on duty, but at his house Thursday with Alex, who was off duty when they began taking turns pulling the trigger on the revolver while pointing it at each other, according to court documents. Alex was shot in the chest. Charges say Hendren and his partner, who was also there, rushed her to SSM. Health St. Louis University Hospital, where she was pronounced dead at 1.07 a.m. I want you to picture this. Here's a married woman, very attractive woman, who worked with both of these officers at various times patrolling in their respective districts. She worked with both of them. Now picture this, she tells her husband, honey, uh, I want to go over and visit with my two other officers that I work with, and it's one o'clock in the morning. Huh? Are you buying this? And then when she gets there, they decide to play a modified version of Russian roulette. Now, Nathalian Hendren is a military trained individual. Can you picture them sitting down saying, okay, hey, let's play spin the barrel. Does that make any sense to you? Huh? And why would his partner, also an officer, allow them to play such a dangerous, idiotic game? Well, he wouldn't. And he should also be charged as an accessory to the murder because he did nothing to prevent it. I don't think he could have. What I think happened was there was a love triangle going on and uh, she got murdered. They're going to find out. Don't know if his car had a GPS on it. They think it might have. If it did, they'll know exactly where it was and when it was, wherever it was, out of their patrol district. And they'll also be able to determine a whole lot based on their phone records. If Caitlin was involved with either one or both of them, it'll come up in emails and or in phone records. This is, I believe, an absolute murder. And any juror that looked at the evidence would convict both of them of murder. Now, the officer he says that the injury to his face, he headbutted the window of one of the police cruisers at the hospital. Yeah, right. Hendron had been hospitalized after taking Alex to the hospital following a shooting, according to sources. He headbutted the back window of a police SUV parked at the hospital, sources said. Why would he do that, huh? He broke the window and suffered minor injuries to his head, sources said. The booking photo released by police show Hendren with a blackened left eye. Sources say police officers took Hendren into custody Monday in his room at SLU Hospital. He was not present Monday morning when his attorney sought a reduction in bail terms that would let him post 10% of the bail to be freed. A decision is expected at the hearing this week. A spokeswoman for the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office said a victim's family is usually informed and given the opportunity to speak to the court before a decision is made. 
Attorney Thelma Newton IV is representing Hendren in a criminal case. He declined to comment Monday, but released a statement offering condolences to Alex's family. Quote, the death of Officer Caitlin Alex was tragic, an accident that unlettably impacted the lives of everyone involved. He said in a statement, I urge the public as well as members of the police department to wait until the investigation is complete and all the facts have been presented before coming to any conclusion about what they believe happened that unfortunate morning. Yeah, you come over to the guy's house. Come on in, honey, let's play some Russian roulette. Come on, at one o'clock in the morning? Alex's parents have hired a legal team that includes Scott Rosenblum to ensure that a thorough investigation is performed. The attorney said his son Alec Rosenblum and Johnny Simmon of the Simmon Law Firm are also part of the legal team. Certainly, we're looking into all avenues, including potentially civil litigation, Scott Rosenblum said. The family is convinced that with Caitlin's training, both police and military, there remains a substantial amount of unanswered questions, questions about the circumstances of the events. Hendren and his partner, both 29, were on duty in the city, the second district on Thursday morning, but went to Hendren's house in the 700 block of Dover Street, which is another police district. The house is about two miles from the southern east border of the district. They were supposed to be patrolling under department policy. On-duty officers are required to remain in their assigned districts at all times. Alec, who was off-duty, also went to the house shortly before 1 a.m. Hendrickson took all the bullets out of the revolver and then put one back in. He spun the cylinder, pointed it, and pulled the trigger, according to court documents. The gun did not fire, court records say. Alex then took the gun, pointed it at Hendrickson, and pulled the trigger. Hendrickson then took the gun again and pulled the trigger. This time it fired, striking Alex in the chest, records say. You want to read the rest of the article? Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, this girl is very, very attractive, and she's now dead. You don't go to somebody's house at 1 o'clock in the morning and play Russian roulette, do you? Hmm? The records, phone calls, emails, will put the cap on what I believe is this murder. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.